Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at the basic gestures to interact with an iPhone and uh, how you can navigate your iPhone. Now, the first thing that you can do on your iPhone is you tap on it, like a single tap. So on the home screen here, if I tap on it once like this, it will open up an app. So you can see if I tap on it uh, once, it will uh, open up or perform a single click or a single tap action. Now you can also tap and hold into an item on the home screen or anywhere on the screen and normally it will bring up a contextual menu. So let's take a look here. If I tap and hold into notes, you can see I can uh, uh, from the pop-up contextual menu, I can tap on new note, new checklist and etc. Uh, for photos, it will be different. So depending on uh, which app we are pressing every time you tap and hold on to a different apps a uh, contextual menu will come up with uh, the different options that is specific to the apps now you can also scroll down or scroll across the screen by swiping across like this this will allow you to navigate to different uh, page on the home screen we can also scroll up and down depending on the apps so if we are open up a web page we can uh, scroll up and down like this uh, you can quickly flip it up, flip it, uh, quickly flip it down, or you can simply uh, tap and hold and swipe it up and down like this. This will allow you to scroll up and down on a web page or uh, in uh, Photos app. You can also uh, swipe up and down like that, or you can just swipe, simply uh, swipe quickly up or down, or you can tap and hold that allow you to um, uh, scroll on the screen. Now. You can also use the pinch option to pinch in and out. So let's say we want to perform a zooming. Normally the pinch involves some kind of zooming. So you can see here in the photos I can zoom in or zoom out. So by uh, pinching out like that, I can zoom in. And by pinching in, I will be basically zooming out. Now this is zooming in and out on a single photos. But I can also zoom out on the gallery right here. So this feature is depending on the apps. So here, if we go into a web page, I can also zoom in to see the text larger, or I can uh, zoom out on a web page. Normally, we can also double tap to um, quickly zoom in, uh, depending if you have turned on activate the feature or not. So I can tap here to, uh, uh, yeah. If uh, sometimes if you double tap, it doesn't go uh, right back. Then uh, it's depending on the apps and depending on if the features has been turned on or not. Now at the bottom here is a navigation bar. We can uh, swipe up to go back to the home screen from the center here. So from the center at the bottom of the screen, if you swipe up, that will immediately take you back to the home screen on an uh, iPhone. Now we can also swipe down at the top corner here, on the top right corner. If we swipe down, this will allow us to quickly access the control center. In the control center, there are other features that you can uh, use. Now again, if we swipe up and down, you can see this allows you to adjust the brightness with the uh, swiping up and down gestures on the screen. Now this is a single tap to turn on the touch at the back here. And you can see if I tap and hold to this touch icon, tap and hold, then now I can, uh, using the swipe gestures to increase the brightness of the touch. Now I will decrease the brightness of the touch. And so in this example, we can see we can tap to um, turn on or off. We can tap and hold to bring up a, an additional options. And from here, we can also drag to uh, uh, increase or decrease the brightness or change the functions of that uh, application. Now you can also um, swipe up and hold to uh, change um, to different apps. So we can open up the app switcher. So here you can see we can uh, uh, open up the uh, app switcher and this will allow us to uh, switch to the different apps so when we swipe up quickly at the center of the screen it will go back to the home screen but if you swipe up and hold just for a few seconds that will bring up the app switcher you can also switch between apps by simply swiping across at the bottom here so at the bottom of the screen we can uh, if you quickly swipe like this this will allow you to uh, quickly switch between uh, different open apps just simply by swiping at the bottom of the screen right here. Now on your iPhone, there are three buttons on the side. 
one is the side button on the right hand side and two volume buttons volume up and volume down on the left hand side now depending on the combination of the button press uh, every time you press on certain combinations different functions uh, will come up so let's say if you press and hold on to the side button on the right hand side here you will basically open up Siri sorry so press and hold on the side button here this will bring up Siri and if we um, press on it twice this will bring up uh, Apple Pay so in order for us to use um, Apple Pay it needs to uh, be set up first before you can use it now when you triple click on the button on the side button here it can bring up a uh, accessibility shortcut so I have uh, set the buttons when I triple click to bring up the assistive menu but you can also set it to bring something else up so to make the changes you can go into settings and in uh, uh, settings you can go to accessibility and if you go in here side buttons you can see um, there are things that you can do such as changing the click speed uh, to default slow or slowest you can also change if you press on the side button press and hold it will bring up Siri or bring up classic voice control or turn off completely so you can see you can also change the behavior of the buttons as well and the other things that you can do is um, accessibility shortcuts so here if you uh, choose when uh, when you triple click the side button you could ask um, the phone to bring up assistive touch or convert um, a classic invert color so if I triple click like that I can choose uh, classic or I can turn on assistive touch so this shortcut uh, can be selected so you can see here if I turn all of them on then more options will appear in the list right here so that is uh, with uh, triple click sending triple clicks on the side buttons on your phone uh, with other uh, buttons combinations such as uh, pressing on the side button here and the volume up button will also allow you to take a screenshot so this side key and volume up key on the side here and that will allow you to take a screenshot as you can see uh, we can also use the um, side button here and if you press onto the side button uh, either volume up or volume down that will bring up uh, use the use of emergency so it will bring up SOS and you can see if I continue to hold it will, ooh, it will basically that scare me off a little bit so that will basically bring up uh, the emergency uh, SOS you can also slide across there so that is the use of side button plus uh, volume up or volume down press and hold and that will bring up now if you are in India you can also triple click on this button here triple click on the side button and that will bring up um, use emergency SOS so that is if you are in India and if you are in a different region you can use the side button in combination with the volume up or volume down key now to turn off your device you can press and hold onto the side button here and either the again the side button the volume up or volume down and this will bring up the menu and from here you can swipe across to um, power off your device or to switch it off you can also view your medical ID by swiping this button across here medical ID and that will bring up some of your personal information on the phone now you can also force the device uh, to restart on your phone so say an app is uh, crashing or frozen and it causes your screen not to respond you can also use the side button here uh, a combination of side button and volume up or volume down key to uh, restart the phone so you can uh, press and release on the volume up button press and release on the volume down button and then press and hold to the side button and that will allow you to uh, restart the phone I don't want to restart now because it will take some time for it uh, to restart and boot up so those are the basic gestures that you can use on your iPhone 11 or the 11 Pro now remember that each of these apps on the home screen here offer a different uh, quick actions menu so for example maps if I tap and hold to that you can see the menus will be different to say the clock app so you might want to uh, individually go uh, one by one and then see what option is available uh, for you to use on each, on, on each one of the apps uh, on your iPhone 11 
And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.